Hey everybody, I'm going to give you a quick tutorial on how to set up and start using Zergpool to get paid out in Bitcoin or most other coins of your choosing. You're going to start out by going to Google and typing in Zergpool. Now I know that this homepage can be pretty intimidating at first, but it is actually very simple once you get the hang of how to use it. On the right here are all of the different algos that you can use. Um, you have to know which algo to point to. So if you want uh, an ETHash coin, say any of these, a Chrome, uh, Callisto Network, Expanse, FPOW, you'll have to point it towards the ETHash algorithm. So to set up a coin, you need to start here. Um, you choose your region. Pick algo. For this, we're going to set up ETHash. Payout currency in Bitcoin. Um, you could target whatever coin you'd like, or you could leave it blank and it will profit switch for you. In this example, I will choose the FW. Here, you would put your Bitcoin wallet address. Uh, any worker name that you choose will be fine. And now this is what you need to use to copy into your mining software. For this test, I'm going to use NB Miner. So you would go to Google and search NB Miner, go to their website, download the most recent release. Once you extract it, you would go and have to edit any one of these batch files. So for this, I'll make a copy of any batch file. I'm going to rename it to something that I'll remember so that I know that this is the Zerg pool one that we've set up. And you'll edit the batch file. And this is where you'll need to copy and paste. So from the Zerg pool website, you take this string, bring it into your batch file paste that here. Uh, now I've noticed that nvminer does not like this timeout command, so I'll remove that. Save the batch file. And then double click on that batch file to get it running. You should start to see shares. So it looks like Zergpool is having issues with ETHPOW, so I changed it to mine aka instead and saved the batch file, ran it, and it started working right away. As you can see, shares are coming in. One of the great things about Zergpool is that you can also mine with CPUs and pay out to the exact same Bitcoin address. For my case, I'll use Ghostwriter. Payout currency in Bitcoin. I will leave it blank this time so that it profit switches. Payout wallet again is the same Bitcoin wallet address. And this time we'll go to XM rig. Again, edit one of the bat files. Find the line with xmrig.exe. And from here, paste the line from Zergpool. Save the batch file. For XM rig, you want to always make sure to set this as compatibility run program as administrator. Okay, and run that bad file. Say yes. Now, if you see an issue with huge pages, it'll give you an error message. It just means that XMRig needs to be run once as administrator, and then after a full computer reboot, it will have the access it needs, and it'll give you this permission granted for huge pages. After about 10 minutes or so, you should be able to 
go to this wallet pit tab, enter your wallet address, and see all of the information, all of your active workers, what they've been mining. As you can see, I've been profit switching between a few different ETHash coins and two different Ghost Rider coins. Um, you will need 0 0.0015 Bitcoin to cash out to your wallet, which is approximately $30 US at this time. From this page, you can also see your most recent earnings, all of the blocks that you've mined, and any other wallet addresses you may have. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe. I plan on bringing lots more crypto mining content in the near future.